Hey everyone, Yiri here and in this video I want to explain you how you can extend the design system tokens with your own custom data specific to your design system. Now here I have opened one of the tokens and I would like to uh, explain what you are actually seeing here. So we have a color token that is called pink 600 and it has some description and it's coming from Figma. It has certain specific value and it has its own hex color and uh, this token is not transparent so its alpha is 100. Now this, all of this, is a base data model of a token and each of the tokens that we have defined inside Supernova has its own data model. It, ha it always has a name and it always has a description and those are either uh, something that you said or are coming from Figma and then it has its own specific value so it's color for color token for border it's color and also it's width uh, for some more sophisticated token like typography there is quite a lot of values that you can set on them however what you will very quickly notice is that this data model is stable right we this color token is always just a color but sometimes it happens that you actually need more information about your tokens uh, than what we provide by default. And for this, we provide you with a functionality that we call custom properties. Now custom properties are available on all the tokens and are set globally on a design system. It's basically a configuration that can then be specified on each of the uh, design tokens separately. So first, as you can see, there are no custom properties just yet. So maybe let's go into, into the settings of the custom properties and create one. So you see what I'm talking about. Now I will go to manage properties. And as you can see, there is no custom property defined just yet. Custom properties are good for uh, information that you need to be maintaining on the entire design system. For example, if I have a token and I want to target multiple platforms with the token, I would probably like to name that token differently for each of the platforms. But to do this, you cannot, you cannot actually go to Figma you know, and put multiple names there. It's, it's really not possible. So this is where the custom properties actually play its role. And I will create one to show you how exactly this works. So I'll create a new property here and maybe I'm targeting React. So I would like to uh, add information uh, on each of the tokens that the React tokens should be named differently. So I will just simply write React name. And then uh, as a next thing, I also can optionally add whether this property would be available inside the Supernova SDK. So if you are using the SDK or if you are using exporters, both of which have separate videos, you can just put a property name which will be available to you when you are working with the tokens. So I will just simply add a React name here, uh, maybe formatted it as I like it. Uh, and then as a type, I will use text. We have several categories, text, number, boolean or generic text just for uh, a normal text. So this is what we will use for the name, number, nothing to explain there really, boolean, uh, yes or no values. So for example, if you would like to signify that a token is production ready or not, uh, boolean is actually what you would use. And then lastly, generic, uh, which is basically the text as well, uh, but you can think about them as constants. So something that actually doesn't contain quotes uh, when it gets used inside the SDK. Now there is also a possibility to add default value, but since we will be putting names there, uh, the value actually doesn't have much sense because there will always be unique value for each of the tokens. So I will, I am happy with this React name. I will confirm this and now we can go back to tokens. And you will see that the pool of available information that I can put on each of the tokens is actually extended with that custom property. So now if we go to custom properties, you can see that other than the name, this color token actually also has React name. So uh, I could put anything here. Um, you know, maybe I would like to just uh, format the name uh, differently. So maybe something like Aqua 900 
or I could even, uh, you know, confuse everyone and put like blue here, right? Uh, nothing stops me to, uh, in, in doing so. Uh, but what is important is that uh, once I save this, um, I can just go and continue doing this on uh, other tokens. So I could uh, do the same for the Aqua 500. And maybe add this here, let's confirm this. Um, and uh, also do this for Aqua 400. And now uh, those two tokens have a custom information, custom piece of information that I have provided that I have the choice to set on each of the tokens throughout the design system. And of course they are persistent, so they will stay with the token even if the token changes inside Figma or inside the source that you have used. So uh, even if the value changes, for example, the React name will always stay the same because it's something that you have set uh, inside Supernova. As for where you can use those custom properties, there are two places in Supernova where this comes into play. The first one uh, inside the documentation all the custom properties will list it on all the tokens that you will uh, highlight inside the documentation. So actually you are already providing additional information uh, to your documentation, to your, to your con consumers, um, to your users of the documentation just by putting this piece of information here. And then also if you are using the SDK or if you are using um, the exporters, the exporter technology that Supernova supports, then you can also access those custom properties, all of which are covered in different videos. Now, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope that you liked it and I will see you in the next one.